Hi guys, so I said before, the public are easily manipulated, be it to vote against their own interests or to vote to make the lives of others more miserable. Back in 2010, when the Conservatives took power, migration along with the economy were the core concerns amongst voters. Now in 2021, the two have flipped, with immigration being the most important issue for Tory voters and the economy coming in a close second. I'll come to Labour voters in a moment. But let's look at the Tory voters and their priorities. Immigration. Now I highly doubt their concern is that there isn't enough immigration, as we've seen with the heavy goods vehicle driver shortage, or the lack of staff to pick food in the fields and process it in factories. No, the average Tory voter believes there's too much immigration. Even after over a decade of Tory rule, the Conservative Party has consistently run on lowering the number of people arriving in Britain, their supporters and voters think both that it's a problem and that the Tories are the ones to fix it. So how did the average Tory voter come to this conclusion? Well, we all know the answer to that question. They've been constantly fed a drip of xenophobia through the media, be it traditional media like The Express or The Daily Mail, or new media like YouTube channels of the likes of LBC and Talk Radio. But let's not forget the newest kid on the block, GB News which has recently hired Nigel Farage to attack the issue. The right wing have been able to convince the British public that those arriving in the country from abroad are here to take their jobs, their homes and destroy Britain. When it comes to Brexit voters, if you scratch the surface enough, you'll generally be given the reasons for why they voted to leave the European Union. Immigration. They were convinced by the type of rhetoric pumped out on almost a daily basis by the likes of Farage and his ilk constantly being told that leaving the European Union would allow the UK to finally solve the immigration problem. However, it ran deeper. They were convinced that ending immigration was the silver bullet to all of the UK's problems. For example, Dominic Cummins' organisation ran a leafleting campaign where they explained how leaving the EU would reduce uh, or perhaps even eliminate NHS waiting lists. This was printed on flyers containing logos similar to those of NHS official promotional material and left in NHS hospitals and clinics. However, when it comes to Brexit, we've seen how the UK has always controlled its borders. And even when the boats are now arriving from France, the xenophobes failed to see how leaving the European Union didn't fix the issue that they saw as of paramount importance. The Tories and other right-wing parties know which buttons to press in order to get the public to vote for them. There is a solid base of xenophobes and racists in the country that following decades of priming by both old media and the new, are ready to turn out and vote for who they see as the most aggressive when it comes to dealing with poor people arriving from across the sea. The people who run the Tory party, the donors, don't care about immigration, but they know that the public do. They know that the Tories will be kept in power if the low information voters are constantly fed the lie that someone is coming to make their miserable life more miserable. This allows the donors to continue to shape the country in the form that they want. Brexit was a perfect example of this. The disaster capitalists making a killing while convincing the poor and the working class that they needed to vote to leave to keep the foreigners out. Notice how since the beginning of the year, Brexit has slowly disappeared as something the Tories cheer about. They know their ability to ride on the quote-unquote benefits of Brexit have come to an end. Nobody seems to be able to come up with a single benefit of Brexit, so best move back to the old vote winner of immigration. One positive from this polling is what we see when we look at Labour voters. Health and the environment are one and two. As I said before, the NHS is under threat. It needs to be protected. This is a very important issue for many people. The Labour Party needs to become the party of the NHS. They need to defend it at every turn, perhaps even making it their defining vision. The economy will always be important in the eyes of the public, be it through good or bad times. But while the Tories move closer and closer to defining themselves as the anti-immigration party, Labour need to do the same, define themselves as something. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. 
you can chat with me and other patrons where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?